Hello everyone and welcome to a short Star Wars The Old Republic video. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, I've gotten super busy, but I thought I would shoot out this quick video because there were some more images, data mined from the cartel items that will be coming very very soon. And uh, we're getting a lot of these images in very fragmented pieces, we don't quite have a full compilation. And these images came out about like a week ago, I wanted to wait to see if we would get the images of the armor sets, which I know a lot of people are excited about. Unfortunately those haven't arrived yet, I don't think they'll come in the near future. So I just thought I'd talk about these very quickly. We've already talked about the weapons a lot, we've seen like the leaked images and everything. If you want to check out those videos, I'll link them at the end where you can actually see the weapon previews. But here are just the official kind of data mined images of what they will look like in your collections and stuff and quite frankly they look a lot better in the pictures here than they actually do in game which is unfortunate uh, the unstable vented saber looks a lot cooler here but in reality the, the blade is a lot thinner and the hilt is a lot bigger which kind of makes for an odd mismatch maybe they'll tweak it a little bit for when it actually releases in game which would be pretty cool but that's just the way it is right now the uh, electro staff obviously still looks really awesome the sword looks a little bit cooler with that sort of um purple shining crystal like uh, effect in the middle of each of the little rungs there so that's kind of a little bit cooler in the picture as well than it actually looks in game uh, if the color of everything actually changes along with the crystal color that would be just a really nice added bonus so i'm hoping to see that as well we actually have a new weapon data mine though this is the curved vibra blade I personally really like this design. Once again, it has a really cool blade, but also a little bit of a saber effect as well. I've actually seen this uh, previewed. Unfortunately, I don't have the footage of that and the footage is no longer available anymore. But what happens is it is also, it's something that kind of, um, when you uh, unsheath the blade, the saber actually ignites then. So it's not something that's on all the time. That's kind of just a cool effect, but just in general, the design is really nice. And uh, just for you guys' information, I don't know if I've told you guys yet, but actually a few of these are silver rarity i know for sure that the electro blade on the uh, sorry the electro staff on the pts was silver rarity so that's kind of like a, a, a knockoff version of a pike but in many ways actually a nicer version of a lightsaber pike uh, that's actually silver rarity they might change it for when it releases in game but that's just kind of cool to think about that actually a lot of these weapons are going to be uh, pretty accessible to the larger population and then what we also have is um the only guaranteed platinum is the unstable vented lightsaber so everything else might very well be gold and silver so i think that's something to be a little bit excited about this curved vibra blade for example could very well be a silver rarity item we have seen some really nice vibra blades in the past be silver in the past be silver rarity as well but stepping away from weapons we actually have a new mount that was data mined this is the cybernetic varactyl so it's another varactyl uh, but this time around we actually have like some cybernetic implants put around it. It looks very different and unique. I quite enjoy the design. Not sure if I'd ever use it, but it is something that's really cool. And there's also a strong chance this could actually be silver rarity. It, it might be gold just because it's new and different. And uh, But you know, the Corrupted Varactyl, for example, in, in one of the uh, uh, cartel packs released very recently, that was actually silver rarity. So we don't know with a lot of these mounts. Uh, we know for sure that if it's a new mount that has never been introduced in the game, it's it's most likely going to be gold but since we have so many varactyls it could be silver nonetheless it's a nice design it will make a pretty nice addition to, to your collections if you're a mount collector we also have a new color crystal and this is what it looks like here um i don't know i i believe we already have this in game uh, i'm just honestly not sure anymore this is like uh, the green generic green color crystal but with like the white outline underneath um, I, I, I'm honestly not sure if this is something like people have been asking for or if there's a reason why they're including it uh, But yeah, that's just a new color crystal I'm, I'm never too sure about these things I always feel like we already have that color in game But then I find out later that we have like a, a very small different variant of it So whatever that's a color crystal. We also have a new uh, emote coming now I'm not sure what this emote is. It looks like the Fawn's emote a lot of people were saying that on reddit um, But I'm honestly not sure whatever we'll find out uh, when we actually get the name of it and also what it looks like in game and unfortunately that is all we have for it so far so i think i'll just go ahead and end the video but there you guys go hope you guys are excited with regards to the armor sets though is we do have three armor sets we have the sith cultist armor set that one's going to be gold we have a jedi themed armor set i forget the name but that one's going to be silver and we have another silver armor set which is the which is like a Corellian scoundrel armor set uh, I have seen the images of these once again unfortunately I didn't record any footage when I saw them and the video that previewed them was now taken down and can't be uh, retrieved so it's kind of unfortunate I would have loved to show you guys those ahead of time but what I can tell you is when I saw it uh, my personal opinion was that I wasn't too uh, surprised or kind of 
intrigued by any of the armor sets. The Sith, the Sith cultists had like a nice Sith themed helmet, but I just remember looking at the arm, uh, the rest of the armor set, and saying that was kind of just plain and generic. Uh, the the second one, the Jedi one, was actually really nice. It was like themed for female Jedi's, very similar to kind of like the Intrepid Knights armor set, and I quite liked that design. So I thought a lot of Jedi people would enjoy that one. And then the Krellian one was just straight up plain generic. I didn't like it at all. So if you're excited for the armor sets, I would say kind of tame your expectations a little bit. I don't think it's anything too great, but once again, when we get the images, you can make your own opinions on that. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.